Here is a nice problem coming from the Sweden Mathematic Olympiad edition 1995. Here is the following equation system. We have x squared equals twice y plus z. So the second equation, we have x to the 6 equals y to the 6 plus z to the 6 plus 31 is multiplied by this quantity, which is y squared plus z squared. So our goal, we are going to solve this equation in positive integers, okay? So in fact, this is very nice and straightforward equation. So we are going to find a small trick in order to reduce the steps to get the solution quickly, okay? So you guys, you can give the chart to spram pre to solution. Go ahead, pause this video when you worry. Come back to see, to, see the, to see the full solution, okay? Let's go through this one to see. So we have this following equation. So before we get started, just look around this equation and pick up a nice observation from both equation, okay? So the first equation that I'm going to extract from here, so we, we have x squared equals twice y plus z. See, now we know x is a even, okay? So x is a even, so this is the first thing. And also since we are dealing with a positive integers, which means x must be super equal to two, like this. This is the first thing. The second thing, look at the second equation. Since, since we have x to the 6, all the variables have the same power, 6, 6, 6. We have x to the 6 equals 3 parts, equals this one plus this one plus this one, which means, which means x must be bigger than y as well as z, okay? So this is the second information. We have x is strictly superior than y, and also x must be strictly superior than z, okay? And then also, if you take a look at this equation, so we have a nice symmetry between y and z here because they are written the same form here. We have y to 6 here, we have z to the 6, we have here y squared z, z squared. So without loss of generality, let's assume z is super equal to y because of the symmetry, okay? So we can have z strictly superior than y or z equals y. In this moment, since we know x is bigger than y and x is bigger than z, so I get x is strictly superior than y and x strictly superior than z. So this one is telling us. So the only thing we need here, just multiplying this one by number two and this one by number two. So I get here, two x is strictly superior than two y. The second inequality, I get two x is strictly superior than two z. So what we need here, just sum these two inequalities, I get four times x is strictly superior than, let's take number two as a common factor here, I get y plus z. So we know two is multiplied by y plus z equals x squared, okay? So since x is strictly, since x is superior to two, so we are allowed to divide both sides by x, okay? So we get here the following. We get 4 is strictly superior than x. Okay? So let's flip this inequality. So we get x strictly inferior than 4. But remember, we already mentioned x was even. Okay? Since x was even and x strictly, and x strictly superior than number, number 4, which means x must be number 2 because x cannot be zero because we are dealing with the positive integers, okay? So we have found the value of x. Now I'm simply going to find y and z. So let's take this value of x and replace it into the first equation. I get x squared, which is four, equals two is multiplied by y plus z. Let's divide both sides by number two. I get here two equals y plus z. So I have, to, I have determined the sum of these integers, which equals two, okay? Now we are going to find y and z individually, okay? So how to do that? So now we are going to do that by the way of the contradiction. We don't go through this factorization because you will have a huge factorization here. So we don't need, we don't need that. Let's use a nice and small trick here in order to find y and z quickly. So what to do? So by the way of contradiction, suppose is super equal to y, y is strictly superior than number one, okay? 
Since we know both of these integers z and y are strictly superior to the number one, I'm going to square both of them. I'm going to raise both of them to the power six. I get z to the six is strictly superior than number one. Also, we get y to the six strictly superior than number one, okay? So we get two these things here. And also we get z square is strictly superior than number one and y square is strictly superior than number one, okay? So we get these two facts. Let's sum all of this on this form, okay? So I get here the following. Well, what do you know? X to the six equals this one. Y to the six plus Z to the six plus 31 is multiplied by Y square plus Z square. Okay, this one is strictly superior than this stuff what I'm going to write now, okay? So we know this term is strictly superior than number one. This one strictly superior than number one. This also must be strictly superior than two because we have the sum of these two integers. So all of this, I get this one is strictly superior than number one. One plus one plus 31 is multiplied by two, which is 62, which equals 64. But the problem, we know x to the six, we know the value of x equals two, which means two to the six, x equals 64, which is impossible to have 64, is strictly superior than 64, okay? It's impossible. This one is telling us why it cannot be strictly superior than number one, okay? Which means z and y cannot be strictly superior than number one. So finally, y must be equal to z, must be equal to one, because, because it has no choice. If z is bigger than number one, we found a contradiction, which means z must be equal to one. If y equals z equals to number one, it makes sense here because the sum of them equals two, which means if I'm going to replace uh, both of them by number one, I get number two here, okay? So let's write the solution. So we have the solution x equals two with y equals one, z equals one, okay? So in fact, we have a symmetry here, but they are equal to each other. We don't have to do the two pair of the solution. So we get end with only one pair of the solution, which is this one, okay? So I finished with this video. By the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.